For the last five weeks, I have been converting my Vauxhall Vivero. It's been a slow process due to the fact that I can only do conversion work on the weekends. And in those five weeks, I have been sleeping on the most uncomfortable camping bed known to man. And I've just had enough. Get out of here. I'm joking, I'll never do that. <laughs> I don't agree with fly tipping. So, what I'm planning to do is finish off the last few bits in my van and then focus on making some sort of bed so I can be comfortable as I convert it. <sighs> Here we go. starting to run out of material pretty quick so I'm starting to use the scraps to try and fill in the gaps. I mean look how dodgy that is looking. It's like a really bad jigsaw puzzle. Alright last bit of this bloody wall. So, I've just found out that the paint that I've used for all my walls isn't waterproof. It starts to come off if it gets wet. Now considering how much condensation a van can get, that's really bad news. So it looks like I'm going to have to take off every wall and then go buy some paint that is waterproof. It's just sort of not, uh, sort of not my uh, motivation and confidence, really. It definitely feels like it's been a bit of a setback this weekend. I'm pretty much back to where I was two weeks ago with the, the walls out. I just really want to get this bit done. It's just doing my head in. This is not the fun part. I want to start, you know, decorating it and uh, getting the bed made. Um, I just want to live in the van, you know? I'm not interested in the van builds. That's not the part I like of van life. I just like living in a van, you know? But um, yeah. Uh, I don't like to be so easily defeated. Yeah, so I've made some mistakes along the way. But mistakes are just part of life. I could have just paid someone to convert the van for me. But where's the sense of achievement in that? I don't care if I make a hundred mistakes. As long as I can look back when it's all finished and say to myself, yeah, I did that. I made myself a little home and it's pretty damn good. Ta-da! A wall. <sighs> the next day, I wanted to focus on the bed. Using my old bed frame as a template, I wanted to work out what the best layout would be for the space that I had available.
but I soon found myself at a dead end. So I contacted a mate who was way more experienced in woodwork than I am. And we quickly got to work. So, the bed's finished. Well, sort of. Originally, I wanted a fixed double bed in the back of the van. But when we did some measurements, I quickly realized that it was gonna take up all the space in the back. And I don't want the back just to be one massive bed. So we decided to go with a bed with an extension. However, on that day, it was so hot. It's too hot to be doing all this shit. And my mate already gave 110% throughout the day. So I said to him, you know what, just leave it and I'll sort the extension out myself later on. So I had a bit of a brainstorm and I came up with a pretty loose plan. But the idea was to use some draw runners to get the extension that I needed. So taking everything that I just learned from my mate and making sure that I measure everything and take my time and try and do everything correctly. I think I did a pretty okay job in the end. So you got a mattress. This is the bed so far. Unfortunately, it isn't quite finished yet. The wood and the foam mattress just completely wiped out my budget for the van. So I'm gonna have to wait for a payday to finish off the extension. But I'll show you how it should work. So if I just pull these out like so, then all I really need to do is make some sort of platform that can sit on here. And then I'll just get another bit of memory foam cut that can sit on top. And that'll give me the length of about, about a small double bed. Ah, so at the moment, I can't exactly fit <laughs> in it lengthways, but if I kind of sleep on the wonk, I can kind of, yeah, I can kind of stretch out. That'll do. Um, but it's already a lot more comfy than the camping bed. So at least that's something. So I did it. I made a bed, kind of.